We are here in Hayward, near San Francisco, staying in an RV tonight. We're doing an R&B sort of scenario in the back uh, garden of this sort of compound with all sorts of old cars and uh, all sorts of old stuff sitting around. Everyone, you know, assumes that we stay in five-star five star hotels and <laughs> get driven around, and we don't always get that kind of treatment. It feels really good. We've got all our stuff. We're uploading all the uh, the footage that we've been taking. This is a two-man team. The internet's been really bad the past few nights, and we can't upload stuff, so we've kind of got a stack of things for the vlog. And Nick at Mobo has been um, on our asses for a couple of days. How are you feeling, Tom? It's been a couple of days. I'm feeling good. I'm really digging this place. Pond, there's a hammock, there's a trampoline. <coughs> After we drunk this, yeah. we will go out there. Hang out, and then tomorrow we're going to San Francisco. And Sid is getting us some eggs. Ah, yeah. This is a great surprise. It's beautiful. Yep. And we also get to experience, you reckon it was one of the worst storms? Yeah, they said yeah. it was. We had 16 mile an hour gale winds last night. Wow. Yeah. Some of the worst that we've had here. Yeah. So. We sort of noticed it. We're on route to San Francisco, we're just a few miles away. I'm pretty excited to drive uh, on the San Francisco streets. I used to play a PlayStation game called Driver, there was a scene, uh, there was a, yeah, kind of like a, a stage, you know, that you could select where you drove in San Francisco. It's like a free, they call it free ride, and you could drive along the streets, go up and down, very steep uh, streets. We're looking forward to driving to San Francisco. We're going to check out Amoeba Records, we're going to have a look and see what they have. Uh, we're going to go to the Mission. We're going to go to uh, the wharf and have a look around, see what's going on, see how it feels down there. Talking about this uh, this guy the other night, Robert Glasper, one of the most important guys in recent years. This uh, this album in particular, Black Radio, you know, really just great hip hop um, with a strong jazz flavor. Jazz musicians collaborating with uh, ra rappers and singers. This album came out just whenever I was getting into, well, whenever I was releasing my second album, Interlude, which was kind of in a similar vein. So I was really excited to see this album come along because it kind of opened the door a little bit for what I was doing back in Ireland and the UK because this stuff was getting pretty majorly uh, hyped. Robert Glasper, yeah. Um, but last year my obsession really was Hampton Hawes. Johnny Hodges, one of Tom Harrison's heroes. Two guys. Can you tell him the story? <laughs> you can tell him the story. Do you mind? I can't tell it myself. Whenever, uh, whenever me and Tom were sure, uh, whose band was it? It was my band. And, uh, I think it might have been my album. Is it your album? <laughs> was it really? <laughs> it's a Tom's album. It's his debut album called Dagda. And uh, let's get back a little bit. Uh, yeah, the re it was reviewed by a major Irish newspaper. And it was a positive review, but the quote that I like to use to describe Tom on stage sometimes is, he is no Johnny Hodges. <laughs> Which he ain't, he's Tom Harrison. Sure. You know? I don't know that album. <laughs> but it's weird. I like the cover like that. We were more creative with, with, uh, with album covers and took more risks back in the day. Yeah, there's some wacky ones. Some of them are brilliant. Nowadays we just post a photo of just some kind of boring thing, you know? That's nice. That's a really nice thing. Nice to see our Blakey here, strongly represented. Morning, this is a different cover, different issue. This was like probably the second album that I bought. Um, when I heard our Blakey play, I was like, I want to be a jazz drummer, I want to have that same spirit and energy and fire. I don't, but I try hard to <laughs> aspire to that level, and that's what keeps me going. Yeah, Roots and Herbs. These are all classic jazz messenger albums, all different lineups. A jazz day book on tap, so if you're looking for things to do tonight, we'll give you some suggestions. I'm in Flywheel. You are in Flywheel. about to have an amazing coffee. Apparently one of the best coffees in San Francisco. What's your name, Bill? Keanu. Like Keanu, I'm David. Good to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about the name Flywheel. So the name Flywheel comes from uh, 
It's kind of like the idea of a chain effect. If once you start something, the uh, flywheel is extremely heavy, and it just starts everything going forward and forward and forward and build momentum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How long have you been uh, barista for? Uh, I've been barista for two years, but I just moved to the city in November. So. I'm actually a sort of an amateur barista. It's a small machine at home. Okay. Any, any tips for how I can get my milk just right? That's the hard thing for me. Uh, you want to keep the milk steaming at a sound like paper is ripping. Yeah. That's about it. Otherwise, don't fuck it. <laughs> well, that's it. Let's I'm looking forward to this coffee. It's better be it's good. Travels, you pipe it up. Like it. All right. Good, good luck. See ya. I'm just giving this here. I don't know what the hell it is. I just missed off the introduction. Can you do it again? This is our nitro cold brew. It's about a 20 hour brewing system. Basically, just makes really fantastic coffee. And from there, we introduce nitrogen inside. And then uh, it makes it like a bubbly texture with a properly chocolate flavor. Damn. What they say uh, in San Francisco, this is the only place in the world you can actually drive your car in a cop chase and actually leave the ground <laughs> because of these kind of bits here. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, what yeah. we're going to go over. This is just like the movies. If you razzed it at that oh, yeah, thing, totally. you would leave the ground. Well, look at this, you know, where we're heading. Yeah, we just drop off. <laughs> Hilarious. Maybe we should try it. Let's do it. Not on camera. Not on my goddamn Cadillac. <laughs> We're here in the Mission District in San Francisco where I just got kicked by an angry man who doesn't like vloggers. But uh everybody can get it on tape. It's a shame, I was just about to start vlogging and I was pointing this way at myself and uh, I think he thought I was taking a photo of him because he was on the other side of the camera and he came up and started shouting at me in Spanish and uh, pushed me, kicked me and then a few locals said to call the police but whatever, I mean if I saw somebody doing what I'm doing I'd probably kick them and push them as well so I'm here at the mission. I just met Sal. We were uh, hanging out and talking about music. What's your name, man? You want to hang with this? Yeah, my name's David. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Another local. Yeah. Mexico. Oh, yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Sal is a fourth generation resident of the uh, mission here. And, uh, you know, tell me what it was like growing up here and, you know, about the neighborhood. A lot of poverty. Yeah. You know, a lot of brown on brown crime. A lot of gang laces, drugs, but overall, I mean, you know, it's, it's a beautiful neighborhood. You know, we get it's inner city, so we get that sun. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. rather than other parts of the town. I mean, you know, being being a young Latino man, you're gonna go through that. You know what I mean, yeah. no matter if you're involved or not. Yeah. You know what I mean, you're gonna get that trouble, that right? same trouble. Yeah. You know well, tell me about you know the uh, the culture here, especially music culture. You mentioned some some hip hop artists, oh, yeah, one of the kind yeah. of rappers. You know, who can we uh, check yeah, out? Like, like Carlos Santana. Yeah, so, we know Carlos Santana. Kind of, me, he's international. You know, he's, he's from here, of course. Yeah, he's from the Mississippi, global. Yeah. My my grandma, my grandparents actually went to school with him. Huh? Yeah. So, I mean, he grew we grew up on the same block. Yeah. And his mom still has a house. On the same street we live on. We were just talking about music. We got a lot of similar interests in hip hop, and we're also big into some some classic soul stuff, stylistic Delphonics. Yeah, definitely. It's my era. I mean, out here, you know, we call them lowrider oldies. Oh, you know I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. right here, it's a, it's a cholo culture. You know what I mean, you got to get some of that for our Cadillac. On a sunny day, you will catch lowriders, you know, cruising through the mission. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. pilots, fucking, you know. Yeah. Hot rods, everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Old school, 56, 70. Yeah, yeah. Well, tell me about some uh, some underground hip hop artists that we can check out back in the UK. Some people that you think represent the scene here. The fellow homie, who's not here with us now. His name is Gangsta Flea. Okay. Gangsta Flea, we'll check Gangsta him out. Gangsta Flea, and uh, he called the mission the Latin Ghetto. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? And that's big now, you know what I mean? That's what we're known as now. You know, he really. He, Spit, he spit the real shit, uh, you know, the lifestyle, the, you know, the gang culture, you know what I mean? The drug culture, our, our daily struggles yeah. that we go through, you know? Who would you say is representing uh, your generation? Honestly, there's not no young, there's not no young guys like me out here rapping right now. Yeah. But I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get something together, you know, because yeah, I know yeah. a few, I know a few guys young, young my age. I'm 23 years old, uh -huh. so you know, we got some up and coming. You know, yeah, yeah, got them yeah. cooking in the lab right now. You know what I mean? You, you rap yourself? I don't really rap, but you know, I can flow. You want to do freestyle or something for us? When I'm a drummer, if I had a drum kit, I'd, I'd back you up. Maybe this guy, this guy, do something for us. Do you rap? 
Yeah. <laughs> gotta put some fucking Mac Dre on or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What's up, over there, hello. I'm a fucking missionero. I stays on the block and I guess my dinero straight. So talk that heavy metal. It's that young life living, yeah, I keep a bitch broke. It really ain't no joke, nah, I don't fuck around. I don't fuck with clowns, I'm a heartbreaker. I'm a money maker. I snatch a hoe up and I get a cheddar. Ain't no lanes in my gang, it's a real thug soldier. Yeah. Thank you, man. Freestyle, freestyle, freestyle. Pleasure to meet you, man. Real yeah. pleasure. Yeah. That's real good. mission. Real yeah, mission for yeah. you. Oh, as a matter of fact, check out uh, the big homie, Gotoes. All right. G-O-L-D-T-O-E-S. Gotoes. All right. Uh, he's on Instagram. Gotoes from a pot. Okay. He puts it down for the for the, for the black and brown communities out here. Okay. Yeah, he's big, you know. Yeah. He's got a lot of meat, too. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. All right, buddy. Probably quite vibey, is it? Yeah, and stuff. Yeah, it looks good.